guys, I'm coming at you today with a little bit of an update about my Roboroski male pair. Unfortunately, there has been a fight. This little one that wasn't very dominant, Brain, has been attacked and he has been hurt. I've spoken to a woman at Pets at Home about the only one I trust at that shop. And she has said his wounds doesn't look too severe, but I should keep an eye on him. I've... I, had, I took some pictures and she's seen them, so I trust what she says. But his injuries are, he has a nip on his bo bottom. They're not too severe, but obviously he's a small animal, so they will, act, they will look a little bit worse than they are. But he's got a little bit of hair loss around the area, but the wound has started to heal. So I'm going to keep an eye on him, but for now he should be fine. Yes, aren't you? But, unfortunately, I have split them up, but this is for their own good. You know, I want to keep my my animals safe. And to keep my animals safe, that was splitting them up. So, like I said, these are split up. This is Pinky. Here's the one that attacked Brain. He was always the dominant adult. Or the dominant male out of the, the two. But now they have reached adulthood. They are probably around... Uh, well, I've had them for around five months. And I got when they was about two to three months old. So they are now around seven-ish months old. They are getting into adulthood. So dominancy was always going to be an issue with them. But... I never thought I'd have to split them up, but unfortunately I have had to do that. So they are now in two separate cages. I have Pinky down here, Brain up in this cage here. So this is a new cage. Brain remaining in this old cage. I just took the I just took the cage it part off of it. So this is going to be a permanent thing. This is not just a temporary measure while brain gets better. This is 100% permanent. They will not be put back together. I am not risking my my any of my boys getting hurt. And I am not risking this little one killing um, brain. Because I know that can happen. I know that is a very strong possibility with male robos. They are very territorial. So this is something that is going to be 100% permanent and they will not ever be put back into the same cage again. So I hope you enjoyed this little update guys. And I'm sorry it's a bit of a sad one. But this is the way things have to be. And he's gone back to bed. So I hope you enjoyed this guys. Like I say they have now two different cages. Brain is up here in his old cage and all I've done is I've just taken the cage area off just where he heals up a little bit to make sure he's 100% better and this is his setup at the moment he's got his favourite little blue house um, down in this back corner here he's got his bridges and that and then Pinky is down here on the floor area He's got his wheel, he's got his wheel over here, he's got a couple of houses, one of his little hides that he likes, or his climbings that he likes, and this whole area down here is a nesting area, so it's water bottle and his food, but unfortunately this is the way it's got to be, I'm sorry this was a bit of a sad video, but of course my animals come first, and as long as they're safe and happy, I'm happy with them being in two cages, then the one cage... And as you can see here, Pinky, uh, sorry, Brain is not too affected by it. I'm sure actually being bossed around for so long, he is actually happy to have his own space, his own bed, his own food. And he's probably going to be completely happy on his own in these cages because, of course, robos do not have to be kept in pairs. And actually, hamsters are better kept on their own, but robos are one species you can keep in twos or threes, possibly four, but that's pushing it. But a lot of the times, keep your hamsters separate. 
I wouldn't want, I would never risk putting two robos together. This was a cute idea at the time. It has worked for a while, but unfortunately, it's not a good solution forever. And, you know, you you try and you learn and you learn, you, you experience different things. This is the first time my animals has ever been injured, so... Anyway, that's all I've got for today, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Hi, guys. I just wanted to add real quick to the end of this video. Firstly, sorry the way I sound. I'm just getting over a chest infection. But this is the wound that Brain received from Pinky. And as you'll see in this video, he has recovered 100% and there is no lasting effect. Maybe a little of hair loss. But nothing noticeable and both hamsters on a whole are doing absolutely fantastic and i don't even think they mind or realize that they've been split up so until next time guys i hope you enjoyed the video